it's me LG. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, i-share ko sa inyo yung travel journey ko from Dubai to Kuwait and then to Manila. Last month, October, I just had my vacation in the Philippines. Since last January of the same year, I just got back from Dubai. So this time, nagtitipid tayo. So budget travel ang peg natin. Since mura ang connecting flight, so I had this flight from Dubai to Kuwait and then to Manila. My ticket cost for this travel is 1,700 dirhams or equivalent to 25,000 pesos. Compare if I'm going to take the straight flight, which is the Emirates Airlines, it's 3,500 dirhams or equivalent to 50,000 pesos. At least I can save 50% of the airfare. O diba, same thing din naman kasi makakalating ka pa rin ng Pilipinas. This is in Dubai duty free. Kung wala kang baggage allowance, pwede ka pa rin bumiling pa sa lubong mo here sa airport. Marami rin silang sale items and buy one take one. Usually kasi, diba, bumibili tayo and then isasama natin to check in. The thought na mahal. But actually, at the airport, meron din silang mga good buys and then uh, good items para makabili ka ng pasalubong mo. Kung nagwa-worry ka kasi wala kang baggage allowance pero gusto mong bumili ng pasalubong, don't worry, pwede kang bumili dito sa airport kasi whatever na binili mo, accepted naman yan, hindi naman nila kikiluhin yun. And then marami silang choices here, may mga chocolates, perfumes, and then decor. But you have to be careful like me since I'm traveling from the Muslim country, very conservative, so better not to buy it na lang just to be safe. From this section, and dami nilang super cute souvenir items like yung keychains, yung ref magnet, yung Dubai globe. So for the last minute, I decided to buy this leather keychain. Super cute and simple lang siya for 10 dirhams only. I also bought yung Dubai globe for 15 dirhams. Super cute din ang design niya. And uh, another thing, I also bought this gold virtual Arab and then Burj Khalifa souvenir items. That's for only 25 dirhams. After duty-free shopping, nag-proceed na ako sa boarding gate ko. My flight is 8.55 p.m. So, 30 to 50 minutes before departure, dapat nandun ka na sa boarding gate mo. So far, hindi naman na-delay yung flight namin to Kuwait. So, on the spot, nakapag-boarding kami. My travel time from Dubai to Kuwait is an hour and then 45 minutes. And then, yung time difference nila, an hour ahead ang Dubai to Kuwait. Just a little travel tips para sa mga first time na uuwi or magta-travel back home. If you want a window seat, better check in online 24 hours ahead of your flight. Para makapili kayo ng seat nyo. So kung feel nyo yung window seat, mapipili nyo siya. In some airlines, may bayad yung seat selection nila. Pero most of the time, meron silang specific area na pwede kang pumili ng seat mo. So dun lang tayo sa free. Why not? <laughs> After 40 minutes ng take-off, nag-serve na rin sila ng food. Usually kasi, it takes 2 hours pag long journey. But since short uh, distance lang yung travel namin, nag-serve agad sila. So, wala rin naman option. They gave us this sandwich. Meron ding slice of cake and then water and then juice. Right after that, they offer us yung tea or coffee if you want. <music> wipes po yan. Bubuksan lang natin pero hindi natin kakainin. <laughs>
arrived at 9.33 p.m. Kuwait time. Finally, we landed safe and sound. So, right now, waiting pa rin ako sa queue para makalabas ng aeroplano. My next journey from Kuwait International Airport to Manila International Airport will be after 3 hours. So, I have this 3 hours to spare para makapag-ikot-ikot dito sa airport nila. Honestly, Kuwait International Airport is not that big. So, after an hour na pag-iikot ko, natapos ko na siya and medyo nainip na ako. Lastly, after I check my travel status, my flight status, na-delay kami ng 30 minutes. So, supposedly 1.45 a.m. but they changes to 2.20 in the morning. Since I have this spare of time, meron sila ditong mga restaurant, ang dami. And then, nakita ko yung McDonald's, meron sila doon. So, I decided I ate ice cream. I ate this strawberry ice cream. Um, supposedly, coffee sana kaso lang, I remember, gusto ko matulog sa flight. So, pag nag-coffee ako, baka hindi naman ako makatulog. After I ate ice cream, nag-proceed na rin ako sa boarding gate ko. So, I still have an hour to wait. So, ayan, waiting time ang peg with a blanket. Feeling ko gininawa ko dahil sa ice cream. Anyway, around 2 o'clock and 15 minutes, finally, boarding time na rin kami. My travel time from Kuwait to Manila is 9 hours and 30 minutes. So, our departure time is 2.20 in the morning and then we will reach Manila time around 4.15 in the afternoon. Most of the time, yung personal bag ko na may laptop, cell phones, money, etc. Diyan sa ilalim ng seat ko nilalagay for safetyness na rin. Kasi sa overhead compartment, minsan may bigla na lang maglalagay, baka mabagsakan. So, after 2 hours ng takeoff namin, nag-serve na nga rin sila ng food. Um, usually, nagbibigay sila ng rice pag long hours ng travel. And then, they will ask you, chicken or beef? Ganun lang siya. Wala siyang menu kasi hindi naman to restaurant. But for me, what I'm going to do para ma-sure lang na ma-enjoy ko yung food na mapipili ko, sinecheck ko muna sa katabi ko kung ano yung in-order niya. Pag feel ko, masarap. So, go tayo doon. Otherwise, piliin ko yung isa. So, parang lottery lang. Winner lose ang peg mo doon. Anyway, free naman siya. So, go na rin tayo. <laughs> Sobrang saram nitong dessert na to. So far, na-enjoy ko naman yung food nila. After that, meron pa silang tea or coffee. And after kumain, syempre, hindi pa tayo pwedeng matulog. So, look by the window na lang muna ang peg natin. Ganyan. Um, muni-muni. Kasi ang haba ng flight natin, it's 9 hours. So, after um, 2 hours siguro pwede ka nang mapag-rest because wala ka namang gagawin sa aeroplano. Maghihintay ka lang talaga. No choice ka. After 2 hours journey, we have reached sa Gulf of Oman. Next to that is Dubai. So, from Dubai to Kuwait and then Kuwait to Dubai. Paikot-ikot lang ako. So, ganun talaga ang connecting flight. Tiis ganda kahit mahilo basta dun tayo sa mura ganer. <laughs> Good morning sa bagong gising. Around 2 to 3 hours, nakatulog din naman ako sa flight. At this point, around 11 o'clock in the morning, nandito na tayo sa Arivancy. So, I guess 4 to 5 hours to go to reach Manila. Around 2.30 p.m., more like 3 hours before yung arrival namin, nag-serve ulit sila ng food. So, I guess this is for breakfast. Kasi meron silang juice, coffee, tea, and then meron silang omelette. This time, pinili ko yung with beans and omelette. Masarap naman siya. Wala siyang aftertaste na mga spices. Na-enjoy ko naman so far yung food. Yung first meal nila, hindi na ako humingi ng coffee kasi gusto ko nang matulog. So, this time, dahil morning na, Coffee is live. So, ayan, breakfast na tayo with the coffee. Another travel tips, kung ayaw mong ma-jet lag, choose a nighttime flight para during your journey, matutulog ka na lang din. And then, pag gising mo, nandun ka na sa destination mo. 
Around 5 o'clock in the afternoon, nakareach na rin kami ng Pilipinas. Um, though hindi pa kami nakaka-touch down, I guess more like in 30 minutes more. And then, originally, yung arrival namin is 4.40 in the afternoon. But since nga may delay kami from Kuwait ng 30 minutes, and then another delay, I guess makakarating kami. Yeah, finally, nakapag-touch down kami around 5.30 in the afternoon, Philippines time. We landed safe and sound. It's been 9 hours and 30 minutes journey. After we landed, syempre most of the people nagmamadali silang kunin yung mga luggage nila. But before you leave, you have to make sure and double check na wala kang maiiwan. Mostly dun sa pocket ng seat. Ako kasi most of the time, I put my cell phone there and then chine-charge ko siya during the flight. Para pagdating ko ng airport, hindi ako low bat. So, before you leave, you have to make sure na wala kang maiiwan na gamit doon. Especially, yung passport mo. plano, proceed na tayo sa immigration natin. As a frequent traveler for many years now, I can say, yung airport natin, malaki na rin yung naging improvement. Gumanda na rin siya. Here, sa immigration natin, medyo mahaba yung pila, pero so far, mabilis din naman. And then, nandito na ako sa conveyor. Finally, less than 20 minutes din naman, nakuha ko na yung luggage ko. So, I guess that would be all. I hope you enjoy watching and then traveling with me. Please do like and subscribe sa mga hindi pa na subscribe. I hope you enjoy watching guys. Thank you so much. Bye!